in the years <coughs> past, we've had great success with um, buyers being able to convince banks mm -hmm. to lend them money on or to, on value that technically does not exist, mm -hmm. so or income that it's not coming in yet that there's potential for in the future. Mm -hmm. And you know, from your perspective on deals you're seeing come into you right now, is that changing in your experience? Are banks more reluctant to lend on an income stream that doesn't exist yet? Mm -hmm. Or is it a, just purely a case-by-case -case basis, the deal, the story? Um, is it, uh, you know, are there other factors that are going into that banks are maybe still are willing to do it, but just less than a couple years ago? Or what is it, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, because the market is so fractured right now, I'd say every deal is situational, but like just yesterday, I had a gentleman call me who's located here in Fort Worth. He's buying a deal out in Florida. It's got expansion capacity about 15,000 square feet. And he's looking for a loan to close by the end of the year, bank type of profile for the lender. Um, in terms of the cash flow, you know, or the, the amount of the loan they're wanting to extend day one is probably tied to the cash flow for the existing component. However, they will have a future funding component to then fund the construction for that, call it phase two. Okay. So lenders are willing to do it. I think it's going to be sub-market driven and occupancy driven, whatever data we can get to support that this is a healthy market and this business plan makes sense. As long as it's a sensible deal and a sensible market, it'll get done. Okay. You know, and that gentleman, you know, he has experience operating in the southeast and the southwest, so he's got a track record. I've, I've seen his, his personal financials. I'd say they merit a, a loan. And so I think a bank's going to be happy to do the deal. Like, at the end of the day, I think real estate comes down to story. What's the story and what's the picture you can paint? And I think we can justify it based on all the dynamics, at least with respect to that one. Well, a market we haven't talked about in terms of lending is like the debt fund space or the private credit space. Mm. So what's flooding into and has been flooding into the market is these kind of private or debt fund lenders that are priced, you know, a little bit higher than banks and credit unions, but they take on greater risk. And so because of that pricing, you know, it's a risk reward spectrum. They're going to take on a, a little bit more challenging business plan and expect to be paid for it. However, they're generally interest only during their term.